Okay, this is week five of summer reading. Don't forget to get your crafts. Um, this week it is the frog prints. So I'm reading Froggy Goes to the Library. It was Saturday morning and Froggy stayed in bed to read his favorite book. It was about Super Frog, of course. Froggy, called his mom. What? It's time to get up, dear. We're going to the library. Yippee, cried Froggy, and he hopped out of bed and flopped into the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. Let's go, said Froggy, and he started flopping out the door. Flop, flop, flop. First, said mom, you have to get dressed. Froggy was still in his jammies. I know that, said Froggy. He's so excited to be going to the library. And he flopped back to his room and got dressed. Zip, 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 zap. Then he flopped back, flop, 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 and said, let's go. I want to get books about Super Frog and T-Rex. But first, eat your breakfast, dear. Yum, said Froggy. Home flies and ketchup. Much, crunch, much. Then Froggy raced out the door. Froggy, called Mom. What? Don't forget your book bag, dear, so you can carry home lots of books. I'd better take the wheelbarrow, cried Froggy. I'm getting tons of books. And off to the library they went. Squeak, squeak, squeak. In no time at all, Froggy had a stack of books so high that he couldn't see over the top. So he tripped over Polly, oops, and fell smack on his face, black, and spilled all his books. And that's when he saw Frogalina. Hi, Froggy, hee hee, want some help picking up your books? I can do it myself, shouted Froggy. Please use your indoor voice, dear, said the librarian, Miss Otterbottom. First, Froggy read a book about Super Frog. It wasn't very good at, he wasn't very good at reading, but he was very good at looking at the pictures. Zwit, zwit. When he got to the part about Super Frog flying high and fast after the bad guys, he stood on the table and spread his arms like wings. Please sit down, dear, said Miss Otterbottom. It's not polite to stand on the table. Oops, said Froggy. Then he picked out lots of books about dinosaurs, especially his favorite, T-Rex. Roar, cried Froggy, holding his hands up like claws. And guess what? Froggy, called Miss Otterbottom. What? This is a library, dear, not dinosaur park. Oops, said Froggy. Sorry. Then Miss Otterbottom announced, Story time. Come gather around, children. Me, me, cried Paula Wagalina. Story time is for babies, said Froggy. But little by little, the book that Miss Otterbottom was reading got all of his attention. What a great story, thought Froggy, and he wanted to know what happened next. So he scooted closer and closer. And when she started doing rhymes and songs, he got so excited that he leaped over Frogalina, he leapfrogged over his mother, he leapfrogged over Polly, right smack beside Miss Otterbottom and started singing. Wiggle, wiggle, waggle, waggle, giggle, giggle, gaggle, gaggle. And all the kids laughed like crazy. And Froggy just kept singing and dancing until suddenly it grew quiet. So quiet, you could hear a fly burp. Froggy took one look at Miss Otterbottom and uh-oh, he knew he was in trouble. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Miss Otterbottom stared hard at him then smiled and joined in, and so did everybody else. Wiggle, wiggle, waggle, waggle, giggle, giggle, gaggle, gaggle, until story time was over. Thanks for being so uh, energetic, Froggy, said Miss Otterbottom, and she handed him the book she had been reading aloud and said, I'm glad to know that Froggy loves books. 
Come again soon. Thanks, cried Froggy. Books are the best. And he put it on top of his pile to check out, then rolled his wheelbarrow full of books with Polly on top singing, Wiggle, wiggle, waggle, waggle, giggle, giggle, gaggle, gaggle, all the way home. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Have a good day.